Hello everyone, uh, Zarvolt here, and today we're going to be playing a uh, Grixis control. Now, uh, Grixis is um, black, red, and blue. Um, there's several different versions of this deck running around out there on YouTube and different websites. Uh, this is my version of it, how I like to play uh, Grixis control. Um, one of the centerpieces is this Dynavolt Tower here. So uh, I'll just go through and uh, show you the cards. We've got uh, two Fatal Push. Three shock, two pull from tomorrow to uh, get uh, card advantage later on in the game. Two down a volt tower. Now uh, I don't have any. Um, I'm not running harness lightning. I probably should be, but uh, don't even think I'm running glimmer of genius. So uh, I'm just getting the uh, energy actually from the tower itself. So uh, might be a mistake, but uh, that's the way I'm doing it. Um, we've got two scatter to the winds. Three broken concentration, three unlicensed disintegration, two radiant flames, two languish, two cut to ribbons. Now I haven't seen as many decks running this card. I, I think it does really well. It uh, the ribbons part helps you do uh, quite a bit of damage towards the later of the game when you've got seven or eight mana. You can do. Uh, five or six damage in one little swoop there and just have it waiting in your graveyard to uh, pounce on them uh, towards the end of the game. And Cut is actually uh, two mana does four damage to a creature so it's actually a pretty good card. We've got Chandra Tortured Defiance. We've got Confirmed Suspicions to give us more card advantage to make some clues. Dark Intimations. Um, I love this card. It's a good Grixis card. I haven't seen that many people running it. Um, we've got Obnixilus. We've got Torrential Gearhawk. He's the only creature we have in this deck. We've got Chandra Flamecaller. We've got uh, two Never to Return. Two Commit to Memory. Three Island. Three Swamp. Three Mountain. Two Wandering Fumeral, two Smoldering Marsh, two Sunken Hollow, two Drowned Catacomb, two Sulphur Falls, two Dragon Skull Summit, and four Evolving Wilds. So we've got 25 land all together. Now that's the deck. Now uh, let's see what we can do with it. Let's see if we can get a game. Okay, here we go. Looks like we got two land. I guess we'll go ahead and keep this. Playing um, UNR three four one. Okay, we'll go ahead and play this, I guess, and see what he's got. If he's got creatures, we can go ahead and start uh, shocking them and fiddle pushing them. Okay, he's got the elephant. That's good. He won't be able to uh, play it this turn, so that gives us an extra turn to uh, do stuff with. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this out. Then we'll be able to Fatal Push or, or, or Shock whatever gets put out. He's got the elephant again. He will not be able to keep it out this time either. So that is excellent for us. So he is getting a slow start. So I feel good about our chances in this game. Um, three mana. So whatever creatures he puts out, we're going to immediately be able to uh, obliterate. Okay, he puts the elephant out. 
Do we go ahead and kill it now or wait? I think we wait. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. So we might as well go ahead and fatal push it now. There's nothing he can do about it. And then we can shock whatever else he puts out. I was going to have to discard a card if I didn't go ahead and fatal push it then. That's why I went ahead and did that. Okay, he doesn't have anything. Interesting. Um, let's put our land out and uh, continue on. We don't have any counter spells. I wish we had a counter spell, but if we has any small creatures, we can get rid of them. Probably has a bunch of burn in his hand or um, something that requires two green mana. Okay, we've got mm, eight cards, so we got to play something, so I guess we'll just go ahead and shock him right now. He's probably needing a, uh, needs double mana. Now, if he's got green and he's got, um, Guy's Revenge or something like that, then we're not going to kill that. Um, do we go ahead and Fatal Push that? I think so. I think we just go ahead and Fatal Push it on our turn. Might as well. Not sure where our counter spells are, but uh, maybe we'll draw one. Okay, there's a Dark Intimations. Okay, we got seven cards in hand. He doesn't play anything. We might as well go ahead and shock him now on our turn. Okay, good. There's a counter spell, so that's good. I guess we'll cast another shock on him on his turn. I, I don't know. So got a counter spell up, so hmm. Maybe he's got a bunch of creature removal. Maybe that's all he's got. So four land of the first sixteen cards. Okay, he's left the game. Okay. Okay, Dai Rai Utsu Tsuki. Okay, at least this time we got some mana. Let's see, we've got red, black, black. We need blue and red. Right? Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and get a red, I guess. See what they do. We'll go ahead and get our blue, and then everything else will come in uh, untapped. And we'll get a fatal push, whatever he puts out. That's good for us. Maybe we'll have enough of uh, advantage of being uh, in the lead here a little bit to uh, do some stuff. No counter spells though, but we can fatal push. Uh, okay, he's got blue. Might be a control deck also. Okay, we've 
got Never to Return. In case he puts a uh, planeswalker or something silly like that out. Okay, we've got Scattered of the Wind in case something happens. Okay, Inspiration is fine. We're not going to counter that. Firecraft. We just need one land and we can put Chandra out. He's probably got Never to Return also. Okay, let's put our tower out. like um, the f these fatal pushes are going to be worthless if he doesn't put any creatures out. Okay, we continue on. Jace out. Let's try to fatal push Jace and see if he has a counter spell. Okay, no counter spells. Or he just doesn't care that enough about Jace to uh, try a counter spell. I'm sure he's got some kind of counter spell though for Chandra. We're gonna have to wait till uh, he plays something and then uh, play her. Okay, there's two counter spells. Okay. Sure, what he's got. We'll go ahead and discard cut to ribbons, I guess. There's confirmed suspicions. I guess we go ahead and discard Fatal Push at this point. Okay, let's confirm suspicions that. Let's see if he's got another counter spell. Okay, that's good. Ok, 
Okay, land is exactly what we needed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's see if we can broken concentration that. Does not have a counter spell, I don't guess. I guess we try to get our Chandra out. Maybe he's got a counter spell. Okay, he does. Okay, he did have it. Okay. Doesn't have anything else. Okay, more land. He's way far deeper into his deck than we are. Six cards deeper. Got a lot more land. He's been replaced by AI, okay. More land, okay. Let's go ahead and try to get our... return out. See if he has a counter spell. Okay. That's good. Does he have a spell to cast? Okay, let's try attacking. I guess we try to use ribbons, see if the counter spell comes. No counter spell. Might as well do this then. Okay, no plays. Um, <clears throat> might as well cast shock. Okay, no counter spell. Let's attack. Okay, let's go ahead and confirm suspicions that. Okay, Savage Alliance. Go 
we can hit him with the Dynavolt Tower, I guess. Now we're going to be vulnerable, so hopefully he doesn't have anything. Let's go ahead and crack a clue, I guess. Okay, dark intimations. And I guess we finish him off with the tower. Let's see what we can get here. Don't know what he's got. Okay, level 32, Juno. Okay, we got some land. Um, let's get a black mana. Well, we can fatal push if it's little creatures. Probably put our wandering fume all out and see if we draw any other lands and then play the evolving wilds after that. Okay, let's put the fumer all out. Probably get a blue spell that will make the, uh, the scatter of the winds come online. Primal Druid. Don't want to kill that. And uh, we'll go ahead and get a blue here. Evolving Wilds is to get another color. He's got red, I mean not red, he's got green and white. Okay, so just green and white, okay. Some sort of emerge deck, maybe. Okay, we get another blue. So if, if it's some sort of emerge, then we can definitely uh, counter. green okay, another fumarole, that's good okay, blister pod um, yeah, I don't really care about Blister Pod that much. Okay, another Fatal Push. Yeah, we'll probably just block with our Fumarol and hope he doesn't have a uh, way to kill it. This is going to make it where our Scared of the Winds, um, we're not going to be able to um, counterspell anything now. So he's probably going to play some big creature. Or Gideon, okay. Let's see, how do we do this? How do we do this? We, um, can 
Fatal push once. He can keep making tokens. Um. Fatal push the token, I guess. Does he have some sort of blossom defense or something like that? Out another token, okay. There's our land, okay. So we can languish now. I guess we're gonna have to at this point. Pulse of Marassa gets the blister pod back. Makes more tokens, okay. He's got some sort of token generation strategy, I guess. Got a crap load of land, though. Okay, thank goodness there's more land. Okay, we got blue. We need another black, don't we? Okay, how do we do this? I guess we just, unless it's disintegration on his turn. to push that token when he brings it back. Do I care about that? I don't care about that. How do we do this? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we gotta fatal push the token, right? I think so. I wanted to do it on my turn, but I didn't. And then um I guess we hold up a couple of counter spells. Okay, we commit to memory, or we pull from tomorrow. Let's pull from tomorrow. We 
Okay, there's Chandra and another Dark Intimations. We really need that land. Um, I guess we'll put that in the graveyard. Okay, let's put this land out. Let's never Gideon. Do we have enough mana to never Gideon and play Chandra? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Um play Chandra. How do we do this? Never Gideon. Then he's got seven to deal damage just with them we play Gideon and get rid of uh... okay we never Gideon and we got scared of the winds up okay Okay. Play this. Now, do we have enough to play Chandra and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chandra cost six. So let's just make sure we keep some blue men up. Okay, go front wandering fumeralls. Okay. And then we've got scared of the winds up. Okay, we should be good. Okay, let's just do it for two. Okay, that will work good. And then he's got Blister Pot he can attack us with. Does he have Ulamog? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If he play, oh, he's got this, so he could play Ulamog if he's got it in his hand. Which more than likely he's got Ulamog. Okay, let's go ahead and scatter the winds that. He can't bring it back yet. Oh, he can. Okay. How much mana do we have? We've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Two dark intimations. He gets rid of two creatures. He gets rid of. Okay. Chandra can do what? It can get rid of that token. Guess that's what we gotta do. Then we uh, dark intimations. Let's see, we've got. Um, just make sure we've got um, a black, blue, and a red left. Okay, looks like we do. Chandra back. Okay, let's play another Dark Intimations. I 
Now we're not going to be able to scatter to the wind's Ulamog, so he's got tragic arrogance, okay. He's probably got Ulamog in his hand. If he's got Ulamog in his hand, then okay. There's nothing we can do about that. Nissa gets him a forest. Transforms Nissa. Okay, he looks for a card. He gets a planes, okay. So we know he's got that. Okay. We put our Chandra down. We attack Nissa. And we get scared of the winds up for whatever he plays. What do we have in our graveyard? We've got return and memory, okay. So scared of the winds. If he's got Ulamog. If he's got Ulamog, he exiles Chandra anyway, though. Explosive vegetation, okay. Okay, he's left the game. And that was a good game. Okay, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.